A Curious Case of Acute Corridorus <sighs> Excuse me, A Curious Case of a Gastroderma Species, being CW-153, the Charisidium Corridorus. This video will focus on CW-153, but serves to highlight the fascinating convergent evolution displayed by multiple species in the same environment. Corridorus has recently been split up into several genera. Today's video highlights a unique member of the Gastrodermis genus, a genus which includes some nanospecies like Hestatus and Pygmaeus, but also includes Elegans and similar looking species. CW153 may be a Gastrodermis, but it really doesn't look like any other species of Corridorus that we know of. This species showcases an interesting example of convergent evolution to mimic a Charisidium species. Convergent evolution can be defined by the independent development of similar traits or features, as of body structure or behavior, in unrelated or distantly related species or lineages that typically occupy similar environments or ecological niches. Or in other words, a process in which different species evolve to gain the same adaptations until sometimes they end up looking like each other. Now, what is a Charisidium? Charisidium are a group of small, slender tetras that tend to stay on the substrate almost like a goby or a darter. They move in hopping or darting movements and almost peck at the surface to eat small bits of food on or near the substrate. With Corydoras already inhabiting the lower regions of the tank, one would wonder why they would need to convergently evolve into the same body plan to mimic uh, Charisidiums. More mysterious to me is the abundance of bottom-dwelling species in the area that they collected CW-153. There aren't just two species inhabiting the same niche in this habitat in Bolivia. Collectors found a total of three Corridor species in Gastrodermis CW-153, Corridorus arofrenatus, and Hoplosoma cruziense. They also found three distinct types of Charisidium darter tetras. Not only is the darter tetra body plan interesting and unique for a tetra, I find it fascinating that a completely unrelated species of Corridorus catfish would convergently evolve to mimic such a unique body plan. They were discovered in 2015 by Stephen Grant, Daniel Kahn Vetterlein, and Richard A. Smith with later collection and breeding success by Hans George Evers. I personally did not find long-term success with this fish, but I still wanted to highlight such a unique fish species, as it's not just interesting within the hobby, it's interesting on a scientific level as well. After asking Hans Evers about the species during his visit in Seattle, he noted that most hobbyists have not really found success with keeping the species outside of himself. I hope you enjoyed today's short video highlighting an extremely unique member of the Corridorus family that has convergently evolved to mimic an already specialized form of tetra that forages on top of the substrate as it darts and hops along. I make other short, slightly informational short videos on really unique, rare, and interesting species. Check them out if you'd like, and if you could subscribe and like the video. If you want to see more of my content, give me a follow on Instagram at Hunaquatics. Until next time, thanks for watching.